Hello again, my friends. Just want to let you all know, turn off your TVs. Turn off your TV. It's bad for your mind. All right? Those people that are on your television set are not just there for a reason, dude. All right? They've sold their souls to the devil. Okay? They're Satan worshippers. They're not just getting on the television and put on a smiley face for no reason. All right? They specifically stage out every scene. Just like this video I'm going to put on the internet, I'm going to copy it to my computer, I'm going to edit in Windows uh, Movie Maker, and then I'm going to upload it to YouTube. See, I'm not just recording something and putting it up. The people on television aren't just going out with their video cameras and filming stuff and then, you know, uploading it to the, you know, to the television towers and stuff. They're not just doing that. All right, there's a lot of work involved in television, and there's a lot of money involved for a reason, okay? Now, I can't tell you what to think. I can't tell you what to do. All I can do is give you advice, all right? A lot of times, if you question a politician in a public area, people will start chanting. I had a really strange dream last night that I actually met Obama face-to-face, -face, and all I did was call him a fool in front of all these people. I don't know why I did it. I just remember that in the dream, and somehow my voice got over the microphone, so everybody around could hear. And then people started chanting. They started going, 10 more years, 10 more years, like he was going to be elected for like another 10 years or something. That was just my dream. But it's funny because that really brought back what I've seen in real life. A video on the internet, as a matter of fact, where somebody questions Obama and says that he's working with the Antichrist. And right then and there, the crowd started cheering. And they started chanting, four more years, four more years. And they started booing what the man was saying. I'm only pointing it out to you. It's very spiritual. All right? These things don't just happen out of pure, utter coincidence like everybody thinks they do. That's what they want you to think. They want you to think there is no spiritual reality, so you're stupid and you get caught up in it. So you fall for the things that they want you to fall for. Just please, turn off your television for like two weeks. Alright? When you turn your TV back on, you're not even going to want to watch it. Alright? Once you drift back into reality, look on YouTube about television, how it brainwashes you. You'll be, you'll blow your mind what you'll find. You know, some of it you can believe, some of it's a little off, I think, but you know what I mean? Watch the videos, and there is a lot of facts, scientific facts. This stuff isn't just coming from me, all right? When you stare at a television, even a computer screen like right here, it does hypnotize your mind. But the only difference about a computer is that you're in control. See, I can change this page right now if I wanted to. I can change the page. You can't really do that in a, on a television set. All you can do is change the channel what type of programming you would like to receive. I hope you're understanding me here. I hope you are, really. I hope to God that you're understanding. Because it's... Here, right here's... U.S. government using the television to brainwash the masses. That's just a video on YouTube. If I were you, I'd watch some of those videos because that's exactly what they're doing. They're using television to brainwash people, to make them falsely believe in, in just craziness. It's very spiritual. It's not the work of any man or any woman. It's the work of multiple people, like big crowds of people, big rich people over the years. That's how you know it's spiritual. This stuff didn't just happen overnight. You know, the world didn't get as screwed up as it is overnight, man. It came to the way it is because of people's faith. All right? People's faith, they're, they're not having faith. They may have faith in the government, <laughs> the thing they shouldn't have faith in, but they, I have a feeling that our nation is losing faith in Jesus, and we need to get back to where we came from, really. I, if, if, you're, if you agree or disagree, that's on you. I hope you agree. Because... I don't know what to say at this point. 
you know, I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to get scared. But at the same time, I am going to be a little on edge about things. I mean, you can't ignore the spiritual realm. You can't ignore the world around you. Once you know something is real and you know that something is happening, it's very hard to just push that out of your mind and ignore it. And there's some things I really don't want to do that with. You know, I ride the bike down the street, I walk down the street, and I see people. But at the same time, the only time you ever see them is when they're leaving their house to get into their car. You know, they're not walking anywhere, they're not riding a bike anywhere, they're not doing anything with their lives. They work, they're told what to do at their job, they kiss their boss's asses, then they come home and they stare at the TV. The whole society, that's exactly what the government wants. They don't want you to go outside and enjoy yourself. They don't want you to go outside and fellowship with people like Jesus says to do in the Bible. No man is an island. We got to talk to one another. We got to love one another as brothers and sisters. We have to enjoy one another's company. And that's exactly what these big politicians and these people that run these television networks are trying to stop. They're doing a good job of it. They're working with the enemy. All right. And these people, they're, they're really blowing smoke in a lot of people's eyes. I'll just say that. Please, get the word out. You know, I, I don't advise you to spread much on the Internet. I'm just putting this on here for you. But I don't advise you to copy and paste a lot of stuff because I've had Secret Service agents already come to my house. They were sitting out front in a black van. I don't know what they were doing there, but when I opened the door, they pulled away. And two days later, there was two white vans sitting out there. Just letting you guys know, you know, I, I don't understand much of it myself. I just know that they were there for some reason. So just watch what you say on the Internet. You know, if I were you, I really, really would only talk on the phone if you need to because everything is recorded. Everything, every letter you type on the Internet is recorded. Every message, everything. It's all saved in these fusion centers. If you do some research on fusion centers, you'll learn that too. But uh, I'm just bringing, bringing to you guys what I, well, you know what I mean, what's going around in my head today. Something told me to turn the video camera on and tell you the things that I'm telling you. I don't know if it's the Lord doing. I don't know if the 